What's up guys? In this video we are going to do a long range build or I should say a budget long range build. And what I mean by that is you do not have to spend a lot of money to get a very accurate rifle. If you're wanting to get into long range shooting or anything like that then you know most people think that you have to spend a fortune but the reality is you can get into long range shooting very affordably. And what we are going to use as the basis of this build is something that you guys have already seen before. In fact, you've recently seen an unboxing of this rifle. Uh, if you didn't, go back and check it out. But what we're working with is my Ruger American Gen 2. This is an absolutely gorgeous rifle. Just look at this here. You can see that I've got a level, I've got a bubble level set in here on the rifle. Of course, I've got it locked in my bog pod. I'm getting ready to put the scope on it and that's something that I'm going to be showing you guys here in just a minute but right now I just wanted to continue showing you the way that this thing looks absolutely beautiful guys I love the way that this rifle looks the fluting on that barrel just everything I do have a set of bipods already mounted on it that's something that uh, you know I just wanted to put on there this is a Caldwell bipods and guys, I'll put everything, links to everything, down in the description of this video. If there's anything in there that you're interested in, go down there and check it out. But for now, what we're going to do is to show you guys this rifle. Just look over it, guys. That big ugly thing back behind it, though, I know. That's just part of it. But right, we're, what we're going to do now, let's look at the scope that we're going to be putting on top of this thing. For this particular build, we're going to be using... Arkin Optics. This is some stuff that Arkin sent to me and I just wanted to take a minute to show you guys. I really appreciate Arkin for sending the scope and these rings out. You can see here these are the Halo scope rings. These are the low profile which are going to work perfect for this particular rifle because it does have the rail already mounted. But let's look at the scope. I turn it around the right way. I can show you guys some more of the information about it. You guys have seen an unboxing of this particular scope, and now you are going to see what it's going on. Okay, that's what this is. This is a 6 by 24 by 50 meter first focal plane SH4J. And of course, I did get the MOA reticle. This is the Christmas tree reticle that you can see there. And what I'm going to do now is basically I'm going to go ahead and get it set up on the gun. You know, I'm going to get the rings put on there and start getting this mounted. I do have a video and I will leave a card to up in the corner here to where I show you how to properly mount your scope. And that's something that is critical to do. If you're going to get into precision shooting as well, you've got to mount that scope properly. One of the keys to getting that scope mounted properly, as I mentioned before, is making sure that you level that rifle. You don't have it leveled, you're not going to get it mounted right, and you're just going to be wasting your time. You can see here, this is just a simple bubble level. You can get Picatinny rail specific levels, and you know they're not very expensive, but you've got to level that scope. If you don't level it, you're just going to be wasting your time. I cannot emphasize it enough, guys, level those scopes. You can see here, even though that I have already leveled the gun, the Picatinny rail is level. I am also double checking the scope rings just to make sure that they are perfectly level as well. Guys, I would uh, highly recommend you go over and you watch the video that I did on mounting a scope. You can see here that I've got this particular scope. I've got it leveled on the gun, got the gun level. And right now what I'm ready to do is simply put my bore sighter onto this gun and basically do a rough sighting in. Now is going to be the first look at it with the scope mounted. Uh, do not have it zeroed there again. I just had the laser bore sighter on it and have tried to get it just close. Uh, you know, I've got to get it out to the range and actually get this thing zeroed. But just what I'm going to do now, I'm going to flip this camera around so you guys don't have to look at me and show you this gun. We're just going to start here at the muzzle, that beautiful fluting, and that really does reduce the weight. And of course, you can see here, these are nothing fancy. They're just a Caldwell bipod. And again, guys, I'm going to put links to everything down in the description of this video. So go down there and check it out. A big thank you to these guys right here, Arkin Optics. I really appreciate them sending out the rings and the scope. 
And again, guys, go over and check out the video that I did on mounting your scope properly. If you don't mount it properly, you're not going to get the performance out of it. You should. All the way through, guys, you can see here. Beautiful gun. Beautiful gun. I'm just taking it slow, letting you guys soak it in. Look over the mess that's down here in my basement. And I got stuff laying around everywhere where I've been working on this. Beautiful. Nice recoil pad. And it is adjustable. That length of pull is adjustable for youth shooters the texture of this feels real good really like how that texture feels you can also adjust your cheek well your cheek rest you know you get different sizes of these that you can put on there or you can take it all completely just up to you beautiful gun guys really like it really like how that optic looks on it that big arc and scope they're sitting on the bog pod all right guys Hope you liked the video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I look forward to getting this out to the range. Also, guys, uh, look for a comparison video because I am going to be comparing this rifle to my Gen 1. And, of course, we will talk about some of the similarities and differences in that video. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel, and we will see you next time.